Hi, Damien here for Production Expert, and I'm looking at Clarity VX Pro, Wave's new voice noise reduction software. It's really outstanding, and I'm loving using it. It's fully automatable, and it comes in either mono or stereo iterations, and it's got a light mode and a dark mode, UI, scalable, integral user manual as well. It's really quite something. Let's talk about how it works. Basically, Waves has these Waves neural networks, which are trained AI. And in this plugin, there are multiple that you can choose from. And each one will give a different result based on the noise that the AI encounters, the neural network, as they call it. This reset button can be used as you move down your timeline if the noise changes substantially enough that you're not quite getting the profile that you want. And in the stereo version, there's a width control, which is really useful for narrowing the width to focus more on the dialogue as you reduce. Let's have a listen to this noise that I have, and then let's have a listen to what Clarity VX can do to it. Standing between rail cars, doors open, close, and then one train pass by. So that was the full unadulterated noise. Check this out. Standing between rail cars, doors open, close, and then one train pass by. Unbelievable. I mean, obviously at the full end of the noise reduction, it's too much, but somewhere between nothing and too much is a whole lot of good something. Let's find that sweet spot. Standing between rail cars, doors open, close, and then one train pass by. Somewhere around there. I can get more detail in the Pro version of Clarity VX by accessing the advanced control features down here. And what we get is a multiband bunch of faders that actually work against sort of what this is doing. So at their default, they're all working 100% with whatever this is doing. As I pull it back, each one will do less of the noise reduction for that particular band. These bands can all be varied in width. And you can solo them to hear what they're doing, bypass the bands completely. Uh, this delta will show you the input versus the output. And then there's also gain up to 24 dB or down to minus infinity per band. Really quite something. What we also find are controls for reflections, because as you suck up more of the noise, a lot of the room reflections or the reflections disappear. This reflections knob allows you to dial in via milliseconds how much of the reflections you want to bring back into the signal. In this case, we've got a stereo image, so I'll go from single to double. And I'll raise the sensitivity to high so we get the best possible profile we can. Over here, we have the process amount, which brings our four bands up and down together or turns them off. And the ambience gate, which between dialogue can actually bring the ambience down to more or less nothing if you have this mix knob right open. And the threshold and attack and release all work to help the ambience gate refine. We also have output gain right here that can be linked or not. This tool is something else. For more information, follow the link. Thanks for watching.